Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to my review of Season 4, Episode 8 of Lucha on the Ground, called The Ranks of the Reptiles. And this was another good episode of Lucha on the Ground. Uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, we had three matches, uh, which are the previous uh, episodes we had uh, four. So we're back down to three matches. So, but let's get on with the uh, with the review. Uh, when uh, Lucha on the Ground opened up, we had a uh, a video package uh, of the Mac, uh, which included uh, clips of uh, you know Big Rick. So we we had that. Then the first match uh, that we saw was uh, Daga versus PJ Black. Uh, Daga of the uh, the Reptile Tribe. Uh, he was out there with uh, Cobra Moon. PJ Black, of course, from the other uh, Worldwide Underground. And this was a solid match. Uh, it was a uh, it was an enjoyable match. Uh, it was back and forth between uh, them. Uh, at the end of the match, uh, Daga ended up in a uh, a submission. It was a Crucifix submission on PJ Black. Uh, score the win for him. So Daga ended up winning the match. Uh, after the match, uh, we saw uh, Drago and uh, Vibora. Because Cobra Moon ended up uh, you know, making a call uh, for them to come out. So Draga and uh, Vibora ended up coming out uh, to attack PJ Black all all, all the Reptile Tribe uh, attacked uh, PJ Black. And uh, Vibora uh, was, you know, looked like he was going to hit a, uh, a tombstone on PJ Black. But uh, out came uh, Johnny Mundo and Taya to make uh, the save. And they ended up taking out uh, Drago and uh, Vibora. Ricky Mundo ends up coming out there late, and stupidly he backs up, not knowing uh, Vibora is behind him. Ricky ends up stupidly uh, chopping. He ends up giving a chop to uh, Vibora, which Vibora didn't feel anything from that. And uh, then we saw Vibora headbutt uh, Ricky Mundo. Uh, Vibora then tried to uh, look like he was going for a choke slam to uh, Johnny Mundo. Uh, PJ Black ends up coming in, hits uh, Vibora with the kendo stick. He had two uh, kendo sticks in his hand. He gave one to Johnny Mundo. And then we just saw PJ Black and Johnny Mundo then uh, hit you know, the kendo sticks to uh, Vibora, knocking uh, Vibora out of the ring. So, Cobra Moon gets on the mic and tells Johnny Mundo that the Reptile Tribe is in his future, you know, whether he, he would accept it or perish it. Johnny Mundo uh, then says that if, you know, Cobra Moon, ends up telling Cobra Moon that, you know, if she wants him so bad, you know, let her, she, he tells her to come down and try to take him. So Cobra Moon, as I'm saying, next week, uh, the Reptile Tribe will fight uh, the Worldwide Underground next week. And it's so it's going to be a four-on-four -four match. And uh, she says if the Reptile Tribe wins, Johnny will pledge allegiance to her. And that Johnny will bow down uh, to her for the rest of her days. She ends up telling... Uh, Johnny that if the Worldwide Underground uh, wins, Cobra, she can grant any wish she desires. And she says she knows the Reptile Tribe will not lose and her wish will come true. So that's what happened uh, after the match. Though, So we're getting a four-on-four -four match uh, next week. But will it be a 
four on four match. We'll have to uh, find out later later in the review because uh, there was uh, something a little happened uh, at the end uh, scene. So sorry about that, but I was saying uh, it's going to be a four on four uh, match next week between the Rabbit Tribe and uh, Worldwide Underground. So, but uh, all in all, Daga versus PJ Black. It was a solid match. I I enjoyed it. And then when uh, Lucha Underground came back from commercial, we had a scene where uh, we saw the Mac preparing uh, backstage because uh, he's going into uh, a match. It's going to be for the uh, the trios championship. So it's going to be uh, him, uh, Son of Havoc, uh, and uh, the and uh, Killshot. So, uh, we see Katrina uh, then arrives. And Katrina tells Mac that Mil Moretes is coming for him. And Mac ends up saying he will drop Mil Moretes without, you know, a second thought. Meaning that he's ready for, he's going to be ready uh, whenever Mil Moretes comes for him. And so we see Katrina open up a locker. And we see a skull inside of it. And it's revealed to be Big Rick's skull. And so that was basically uh, the scene uh, backstage between the Mac and uh, Katrina. And then after that we had uh, El Dragon as Tega Jr. Uh, in the ring. Uh, he's on the mic. He talks about when, about you know him winning the, uh, the Gift of the Gods. Uh, championship last week and he goes on to say that he plans to win the Lucha on the ground championship he says if he does if he doesn't uh, win uh, it's gonna dishonor his it's gonna on it's gonna dishonor his tribe and he says he'll defend the gift of the gods title against anyone and he plans to cash in at Ultima Lucha Quattro so, that, that was basically what El Dragon Azteca Jr. had to say. But, uh, looks like it's already, uh, it's already, uh, announced. You know, El Dragon Azteca Jr. is gonna, you know, be at Ultima Lucha Cuatro, uh, at, you know, towards the, uh, the end of the season. So, but yeah, it was a good, uh, it was a good little, uh, you know, segment with, uh, El Dragon Azteca Jr., And then we had, uh, you know, the trios champions, uh, the Mac and Son of Havoc and Killshot versus Paul London, uh, Saltador, and Mala Suerte, a.k.a. the Rabbit Tribe. This was for the, uh, the trios championships. And uh, this, was a, this was a good match. It was a fun uh, match. Uh, the highlight of this match was when uh, the Rabbit Tribe... Ended up coming back in the ring, and uh, we had a uh, what is what they would call a Tower of Doom, where it's you know all the guys stacked on top, and you know one of them's on the uh, one of them's on the top, and it's basically a suplex, and so all of them ended up uh, you know getting the uh, the suplex. And it was the high, it was the highlight of the match. The crowd the crowd was chanting, you know, you know, holy shit. So I, I really liked I really liked uh, that part in the match. Then we had Son of Havoc. Uh, he ended up coming in and he did the uh, double stomp. He ended up getting tossed out. Uh, Killshot ends up fighting off the Rabbit Tribe and he hit a uh, standing double stomp. And then he hit uh, Paul London. Uh, with a, a double stomp to the floor. Uh, Mala Suerte uh, ends up uh, coming in. And Mac ended up hitting the stunner to uh, Mala Suerte. Uh, Son of Havoc comes in with a dive. Uh, Mac ends up uh, hitting a frog splash to Mala Suerte. Uh, Killshot ends up covering Mala Suerte for the win. And so... 
uh, kill shot the Mac and Son of Havoc, uh, win the match. They retain the trios championships. So, but uh, it was a fun, good match. Uh, really enjoyed it. It was back and forth between them. Really enjoyed that uh, that Tower of Doom, uh, you know, suplex that uh, that they did. So it was it was uh, really awesome. Sorry about that, but uh, I was saying, uh, you know, it was an awesome match. A uh, good, fun little match between uh, Killshot, uh, the Max Son of Havoc, and the other uh, Rabbit Tribe. Then we had the main event, uh, which was Cage and uh, King Cuerno uh, versus Pentagon Dark. And before the match, uh, Cage ended up coming, and Cage was out. He comes out and he introduces who uh, his mystery tag team partner was going to be for the match. And it turned out to be uh, King Cuerno. Sorry about, sorry about that again. You know, keep getting interrupted. But uh, I was saying uh, Cage was out and uh, he was on the mic. And he introduces uh, his tag team uh, mystery partner. And it is uh, King Cuerno. Or, or not his tag team, his mystery partner, uh, because they announced that Cage would have a, uh, a mystery partner, and it was revealed to be uh, King Cuerno. So it was Cage and King Cuerno versus Pentagon Dark. This was a, uh, a two-on-one handicap match, and this match was a was a good match. It was it was a fun match. Uh, we had a uh, we had a uh, Cuerno. You know, Pentagon comes out and says, you know, this is his temple, and you know he will take on uh, Cage and King Cuerno, Cuerno, by you know by himself. So Pentagon doesn't you know give a shit, and so Pentagon ends up attacking and uh, you know chops, and uh, what was really cool was uh, King Cuerno actually ended up in a uh, a frog splash. Uh, at first, uh, Cage ended up uh, suplexing uh, Pentagon, and then King Cuerno followed off with a frog splash. Cage ended up uh, following it with a, uh, a Macho Man uh, elbow drop. And uh, Pentagon then fired back with a, with a super kick. And uh, Cage ends up, you know, tripping up, tripping up a... Uh, Pentagon and allows King Corno to to uh, cut to cut him off. Pentagon uh, ends up uh, fighting back, and uh, Cage and King Corno uh, cut Pentagon off because they end up doing a double team to uh, Pentagon. Uh, Corno uh, King Corno leaves uh, the leaves the ring leaves the match. Cage then hits the uh, the drill claw for the win. And so Cage and King Cuerno uh, end up winning the match. So if you really thought that Cage was going to lose uh, to Pentagon again, you're you're out of your mind. But uh, after the end, after the match, we had uh, Cage uh, then uh, go underneath the ring and retrieve uh, chairs, and he end up uh, hitting uh, Pentagon Dark with the chairs with a chair. Uh, shot to his head so that pretty much uh, what was what happened after the match but I have to say this is not going to be the this is not going to be the last time that Cage and Pentagon uh, go at it with each other I think you know Cage uh, is going to get another title shot uh, for the Lucha Underground Championship and they're just building up Pentagon to you know to look more strong and look more Badass before he ends up losing before you know if he ends up losing the the lucha on the ground championship So I think that's what you know they're set up for cuz you know Like I said, this isn't gonna be the last time that cage and pentagon dark, you know square off one-on-one uh, -on -one with each other this season So but all in all uh, the match the two-on-one handicap match between cage at cage king Cuerno and uh, pentagon it was a good fun match so and then uh, after the credits we had a scene where uh, Johnny Mundo and 
uh, tire. It was like a uh, sort of like an Indiana Jones uh, type uh, scene where they're searching for the reptile tribe. They end up uh, finding the uh, the reptile tribe's lair, and uh, Vibora ends up attacking. Uh, ends up attacking Johnny Mundo. So Taya ends up uh, making the save. Taya then uh, retrieves a uh, sword, and Taya then uh, decapitates uh, Vibora. So and we saw like the uh, the green. Uh, splat on the camera, or the green blood on the camera, and so Johnny Mundo ends up bailing out there, and he ends up telling Drago, "We were never here," <laughs> which was, which was funny though. And so the scene ends with uh, with Drago uh, end up being Drago ends up ends up being mad, at, ends up being mad and shocked. So I guess now now that uh, that Vibora uh, is killed off. So now it's going to be a four on three uh, next week. So now that Vibora is dead, you know the uh, the reptile tribe, uh, especially Cobra Moon, is not going to be too happy uh, about that. So, but I like how the way that that they are handling uh, this feud between the Worldwide Underground and uh, the reptile tribe. It's a pretty good. It's a pretty good uh, feud, and I gotta say, I think they should have waited until the end of the season uh, when it hits uh, Ultima Lucha Quattro, where they should have had the Worldwide Underground versus the Reptile Tribe and have them end the story at Ultima Lucha Quattro. That's how basically I would do it. I would have did it. Uh, if I booked it, but that's just my that's just my opinion, though. But, but anyways, that was the uh, that was the uh, the uh, post credit scene uh, with Johnny Mundo and Taya, and uh, Vibora is uh, pretty much dead. So, yeah, so anyways, that's it for my review of season four, episode eight of Lucha Underground called The Ranks of the Reptiles. Thank you all for watching. And uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. And until the next video, I'll see you all later. Bye.